Clark of the Savannah FBI office. As you know, our investigation over the last eight days has led us to the heartbreaking conclusion that 20-month-old 20 Quentin Simon is deceased. We have named his mother, Lalani Simon, as the primary suspect in Quentin's disappearance and death. We have not made an arrest or filed any charges at this time. From the moment we received the 911 call reporting Quentin missing, we have conducted an exhaustive search for him. Sadly, we still have not found Quentin. But our search and our investigation will continue, and it will continue with every available resource we have in order to give Quentin's family closure and see that justice is served in this case. I would like to thank the FBI for their invaluable expertise and assistance during our search and for the help they will continue to provide moving forward. We know that millions of people fell in love with Quentin Simon the moment they saw his face and learned of his disappearance. We have seen the outpouring of love and concern for this child and the outpouring of grief at the latest developments in this case. The men and women of the Chatham County Police Department share that same sadness, but we also feel very determined to keep working as hard as we can and for as long as we have to, to find Quentin. Now Special Agent Clark will have some comments and then I'll return uh, with some closing statements. Good afternoon. My name is Will Clark. I am the senior supervisory resident agent in charge of the FBI's Savannah and Brunswick offices. From the moment the FBI became involved in this investigation, our primary goal was to assist the Chatham County Police Department in bringing Quentin home and holding anyone responsible for his disappearance accountable. <clears throat> To the Chatham County community, our heart breaks along with yours in trying to comprehend what we believe happened here. The FBI, along with our law enforcement partners, have followed every lead, every tip, and every piece of evidence to get to this point, and we will continue to do so. The FBI entered this case less than three hours after Quentin was reported missing. The FBI has provided the Chatham County Police Department resources in this case, and those resources have come in the form of investigative, analytical, and technical assistance. For the past week, over 40 FBI agents, analysts, task force officers, and professional support staff who live in the coastal Georgia area have worked tirelessly and continuously on this investigation. Last Wednesday, we mobilized our child abduction rapid deployment team, the CARD team in short, which brings with it experts from across the country who specialize in missing children cases. As needed, and as the investigation continues to progress, the FBI stands ready to deploy additional resources. In closing, we share the sorrow felt by millions and pledge every resource to assist the Chatham County Police Department in finding Little Quentin. Thank you, Agent Clark. And in closing, I understand the intense interest in this case and know everyone has a lot of questions. I'll answer what I can. Um, but remember, our focus must be on not doing anything that jeopardizes the integrity of this investigation or bringing justice for Quentin. So with that said, I'll be happy to answer what questions I can. Did you hear from the, land, from the family last night that you might be targeting a landfill? Do you know mm -hmm. about that and what landfill it might be? I cannot uh, disclose any inf information relative to that. We will follow the evidence, uh, and when our evidence leads us uh, to search any, anything specifically or any specific geographic area, we will communicate that to you at that time. I cannot get into any specifics relative to evidence. What I can what I can say 
is the evidence that we have so far um, based on uh, multiple search warrants and interviews has led us to the conclusion that Quentin is deceased. Um, the investigation doesn't end, you know, right there. We will continue to investigate this until its final conclusion. Because the I'm sorry, sir. Because the evidence has led us to that point and to this point today. Why is she not been arrested yet? Because we will only do that when we feel we have everything that we need to. We only get one shot at this, right? We're going to do it right. We're going to do the best that we can. We're going to use the resources at our disposal. Um, we're thankful to the FBI. And when we get to that point and we feel comfortable um, with in counsel with the FBI and the ADA. Uh, that's when we will uh, reach that conclusion. Is anyone else being considered for criminal charges? Um, at this time, no. What do you expect out The evidence in the case has led us to this conclusion. Was there a date where you found the evidence that led you to this conclusion? Because obviously earlier this week and last week, you had said you did not suspect something. The, the accumulation of evidence over these last eight days has led us to this conclusion today. We do not have uh, any specifics at this time. I, will not, I can't answer that question um, with any level of specificity. Do you know where Leilani's other two children are? Mm -hmm. I can't answer that question. Do you know where Leilani is? I don't know where she is currently today. Is there any chance anyone else besides Leilani could be killed? There is no one else a suspect at this time. Leilani is the main focus of this investigation. Are you not concerned that you've now named your number one suspect out loud to the public? Is there not a concern that he might take off? Um, I can't get into any specifics, but we don't believe she's a flight risk at this time. All right, thank you. Appreciate your questions. Have a great day.